everyone, it's your girl Weeza and welcome or welcome back to my world. Now, you probably can't go into any social media platform without seeing this baby right here. This is the L'Oreal Wonder Water, also known as Lamellar Water. For purposes of this video, I'll be using both Wonder Water and Lamellar Water interchangeably throughout this video. So if you hear one or the other, just know I'm talking about the same thing. I actually tried this stuff for the first time last night and this is what my hair looks like. So that's a little sneak peek for you. But I filmed it all for you guys and we're gonna go through it all together today. My first impressions, my review, what I think of this as well. We're gonna talk a little bit about the science behind this. Like what is it? How does it work? And does it actually work to repair my damaged hair? So if you are interested in debunking lamellar water with me today, then keep watching. Lamellar water is an ultra light liquid based hair treatment, which can penetrate the hair cuticle and target damaged areas on your hair. And when I say it's a liquid treatment, it's actually a water based treatment. Hence wonder water, lamellar water. You see the water in this. So it's the actual addition of compounds in inside this water that actually help repair your hair. Inside the water is something called cationic surfactants. Now, this is a big word, don't worry, I'm explaining it really, really simple for you. Cationic surfactants are simply positively charged compounds. These compounds were actually originally developed for the paper and fabric industry to help soften up the fabric and paper and help create an anti-static paper or an anti-static fabric altogether. As well, cationic surfactants are very antibacterial, which means that they're also found in a lot of disinfectants. Considering these three properties of cationic surfactants alone, disinfecting, softening, and anti-static, these are perfect compounds to add into water and therefore perfect compounds to help treat our hair. More specifically for lamellar water, the cationic surfactants that are actually added into the water itself are things like hydrators, conditioners, as well as amino acids. All these things are perfect for strengthening and hydrating the hair and repairing damage. Okay, Louisa, I get it. Like there's these things called cationic surfactants, but what does that have to do with my damaged hair? Well, the thing is that cationic surfactants, recall, are positively charged. And guess what is negatively charged? Damaged hair. Basic chemistry tells us that positive attracts negative and these two entities will come together and form a bond. I always like to explain bonds as like hand holding or hugging between two people. Like just imagine that when you think of a bond. So if someone's holding hands or hugging, like they're locked in and they're not going anywhere, that's kind of just like what I think of. So when you think of bonds, always think of hand holding and hugging because it's also cute and it's a good way to remember it. So think of cationic surfactants actually hugging the damaged hair, holding on tight and just helping repair them by giving them everything that they need. Hydrators, conditioners, amino acids to really help repair that damage. Now, cationic surfactants will only attach to the negative or damaged parts of your hair. The part of your hair that is still good to go, fresh, not damaged, is positively charged. So the super cool thing about lamellar water is that it only actually works and creates a reaction or a bond to the damaged damaged strands of hair. This reaction is super targeted. It will only occur on the negative or damaged parts of your hair, not the fresh, healthy, positively charged parts of your hair. So you're not getting a full kind of situation like you are when you're doing a deep condition or something like that. But when we go to rinse out the wonder water, any cationic surfactants not involved in any hand holding or hugging to damage hair is an excess. It's just sitting on the hair. It's repelling. It doesn't want to attach. There's no bond forming happening. So it'll just simply wash away when you rinse it out. Now you're probably wondering what's a lamellar? Like why do we call it lamellar water? Well, the really cool thing about lamellar water is that it's liquid, right? It's literally just water. And because of that, it works in very thin layers. In particular, it forms something called lamellars on the hair cuticle. Lamellars are just very small, very organized layers. So just think of gills on a fish or armored plates. They're in such a very specific pattern, oriented, like perfectly placed. And that's exactly how Wonder Water works. It works at applying these thin layers, creating kind of like lamellar gills of a fish onto your hair, smoothing out the strands while also applying those active compounds like hydrators, conditioners, amino acids to actually help repair the hair from the inside out. Okay, so Weezo, what makes lamellar water different than like a regular schmegular conditioner? Well, first of all, the formulation itself is different. So lamellar water is obviously a water liquid-based consistency where conditioners tend to be more thick and viscous and like 
creamy. As well, lamellar water only works on the damaged parts of your hair. So recall, negative attracts positive, forms a bond, creating these lamellar layers onto the hair, making them nice and soft and silky, where conditioners work on the entire hair and just not in one targeted region. So if you're deep conditioning, it's gonna work on the entire strand of hair, healthy, broken, damaged, whatever. Technically speaking, lamellar water is a type of conditioner. It's just a less greasy, more light, more targeted approach to conditioners versus the super thick, viscous ones. Another thing I want to bring up when it comes to lamellar waters versus conditioners, since lamellar water is water-based and it is super light, it doesn't build up on your hair. Some conditioners are super thick and it takes a long time to like actually rinse out. And sometimes if you don't rinse it out enough, then you just have like thick, greasy, like conditionered hair which isn't cute. And it literally only takes eight seconds for the entire process to work. So I don't see any issue incorporating Wonder Water into my weekly hair routine. That is pretty much it for the science portion of this video. So let's go ahead and actually talk about the Wonder Water itself and let's try it, let's apply it, let's do it. This is the one that I got. I got the L'Oreal Dream Lengths. They also have another one. So there's two different types of Wonder Waters in the L'Oreal range. So the Dream Length one, and they also have like an El Vive one. I'll put it right here. It's like a brownish pink bottle. And I was trying to figure out what the difference between between the two was, like was one better than the other or vice versa. And the only conclusion that I came up with is that this one has a scent and the other one doesn't. This one's also formulated for longer hair. So if you have longer hair, I recommend this one because it also has additional ingredients in there to help detangle and help just like style your hair after. So it doesn't get all like gross and like frizzy, but Honestly, there's not much of a difference. This one has a smell, so if you're like a scent kind of girl like me, highly recommend, and this smell is bomb. Before I show you how to actually use this product, I just wanted to show you my natural hair in natural light. You can see my hair is a bit frizzy, and just in general, I have very fine, easily breakable hair. Always have, I don't know what it is, I've never dyed my hair, I've never done anything like that. I'm just not blessed in the hair area. like. I just accepted it. But to physically use this product, just hop into the shower like regular, rinse and shampoo your hair. I use the Olaplex shampoo because it's my fave. And once you're done shampooing, just rinse it out. After the shampoo is all rinsed out, it's time to apply the Wonder Water. So you can see on the bottle here that there is actually pre-measured doses of 20 ml. 20 ml is the perfect dose. But if you do have super long and thick hair, I recommend doubling up the doses. When you actually apply the product, you want to apply it from the mid legs to the ends of your hair. Do not put it on the roots or near your scalp because it may cause irritation. Massage the Wonder Water into your hair for about eight seconds. So you'll actually see it start to froth up and heat up a little bit. This means it's working. So after eight seconds are up, rinse it out and ensure that you're avoiding any contact with your eyes. The next step is up to you. It's perfectly fine to hop out of the shower now and have it at that. But if you are in need of some deep conditioning, like me. Apply some conditioner like normal. I'm also using the Olaplex conditioner here. Lastly, you want to dry your hair. I quickly just used a hair turban here, blow dried it, and bam! Here's what my hair looks like immediately after the treatment. Fresh out of the salon, super silky and smooth hair. I also film my hair in natural light outside so you can compare with the before shot. And here's what it looks like after the treatment. Super soft, super smooth, and really, really silky. So my final thoughts of the L'Oreal Wonder Water is that I think it's actually really good and it does work. It lived up to the hype. This is my hair day two. So I rinsed my hair last night with this stuff and this is what she's looking like today. Like I never have my hair straight on my channel. I feel like it's not me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about my hair. I just, I'm a curly girl. I don't know, I'm a curly hair kind of girl, but that's not what we're here for today. But yes, it left my hair super soft, super silky, and just like super soft to the touch. Like I can't stop touching it. It's even a little bit too soft and a little bit too smooth. Like it wouldn't stay in my elastic yesterday. It was just like slipping and sliding everywhere. So if you want smooth and silky hair, she will give it to you. The morning after, my hair still smells like that signature dreamlike scent. Like if you never smelt that scent before, next time you're in the drugstore, just head on over to like the shampoo aisle and smell this. Smell this scent. It is so, so, so good. You're gonna love it. It's like a florally, like fruity, like it's just really nice. It's like perfumey, but like the right kind of perfumey. I don't know how to explain it. Just go and smell it and let me know what you think about it. It was super easy to use. The little markers on the side giving you the doses. Really easy, straightforward. For me, like I mentioned, I just used one dose for my hair. I have really fine hair and like kind of mid-lengthish hair and I didn't see a problem. And I felt the foaming and I felt the heating. It was like a chemical reaction in the palm of my hand. Literally the nerd in me was thriving. Like, it's so cool. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> Sometimes with these hair products, we're just slapping it on and we don't actually know if it works. But it was actually nice to feel and see something happening when you apply this product. It just kind of gave you that extra like reassurance that, hey, 
it's working. I do think I'm gonna be incorporating this into my weekly hair wash schedule. And it says you can use it up to three times a week. I don't wash my hair that much. Two times max a week I kind of wash my hair. So I will be using it every time I do wash my hair. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated and let you know how it goes. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. That is Wonder Water debunked. Let me know in the comments down below if you've actually tried the Miller Water and what your results were, as well as if you wanna try, like what are your thoughts on this? How do we like the science? How are we feeling about the Miller Water? Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you on my next one. See ya.